All right, so I um, can invite you to start seated and you can do that either in a chair or on the ground. And I'm hoping that my sound is okay. I've had a bunch of technical difficulties over the last few weeks, but it should be, should be okay now. So I invite you to find a comfortable seat. And that, again, that could be on a chair, on your couch, on the edge of the bed, or like me on a meditation cushion. If you're comfortable cross-legged, you can certainly sit cross-legged, but if that doesn't work for you, really whatever is comfortable for you. We'll do a little bit of grounding and movement um, in this position, and then we'll change it up a little bit and um, go from there. So I invite you to find that comfortable seat. You can close your eyes if you like. Take a moment to land here in this moment. Our theme today is gratitude in honor of Canadian Thanksgiving. And I want to say before we actually begin our practice is that this practice is designed to be a gentle practice suitable for most people, but I don't know your body, you know your body. So please listen to what feels best for you. Omit anything that doesn't feel right for you. Stay a little longer with things that do feel really good. Make the practice your own as much as you can. When it comes to gratitude, the focus on gratitude is the focus on what we want, what's working, what we've got in our lives, what what nourishes us. And when we focus on what nourishes us and what we have and what gifts are abundant in our lives, we feel more joy. Um, and that's a very basic gratitude practice. And if you want to think about a more advanced gratitude practice, we welcome in and are grateful for everything, right? So whether that is something really juicy and delicious and wonderful in our lives, or whether that's something challenging and difficult in our lives, that the practice of gratitude actually welcomes all of that in. Right? And when we can welcome the challenges and see how they help us to grow and to nurture our development, then we become grateful for everything that life brings our way. So you can engage in the practice in whatever way feels right for you. So focusing on the beauty and the abundance and the gifts, or just being grateful for everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it, right? And ultimately, when we have challenges in our lives, it's an opportunity to grow, and it's, a, um, it's highlighting where we may need to do some personal work. So as much as I find you know, some challenges in life so, so difficult, there's always a time and a place where I can get to a feeling of gratitude for those challenges. So take a moment to connect to your own sense of gratitude this morning. What are you grateful for right now? And again, that could be what feels good and nourishing in your life. It could be simply gratitude for everything. We'll do a mixture of movement and meditation, meditation with our movement this morning. If you're seated on the ground, you can bring your hands to your knees or your thighs, whatever is comfortable, same thing on a chair. And we'll lift the heart, coming into an inhale, and then rounding the back, let the shoulders come forward as you exhale. We begin by warming up the spine, Extending the spine with an inhale, flexing or rounding the spine with an exhale. Breathing in a way that's comfortable for you. And I often offer suggestions as when to inhale and exhale. And those are simply suggestions. If you find the breath moves more comfortably in another way or in another pace, you just follow that. Flexing and extending the spine a few more rounds.
And then with your next extension of the spine, you can also lift the arms. So you're breathing in and adding a little more extension. And then as you exhale, you can bring your hands back to your thighs or if you're on the ground to the floor, let your body come forward. So you're inhaling, lifting up, exhaling to come forward. Or again, whatever breath pattern feels comfortable for you. And add a little bit of a twist this time. So you'll come up and instead of going forward, we'll turn to the side, bringing the hands to the leg, or if you're on a chair, it could be to the chair. And you'll turn in that direction. And then you'll come back to the center and turn to the other direction. So each time we lift to the center, we turn. And a little gentle twist. You want to try and keep the spine nice and long as you twist. Okay, next time you come down to the side, if it feels good for you, you can stay for a few breaths. As you're staying, think about lengthening up through the spine, breathing, and finding as much softness in the pose as possible. So there's effort required for the pose, but can we find a softness in that effort? Coming back to the center and going to the other side. And again, you could spend a couple breaths there. And we'll come back to the center. We're taking your arms out to the sides. <laughs> we'll take a breath in. We'll bring the palms together overhead. Exhale and bring the hands to the heart. Take a moment to connect again with a feeling of gratitude. It might be directly related to some particular thing you're grateful for or simply just that feeling of welling up gratitude. And then let's take that gratitude, lift it, and send it out all around us like we could create kind of a gratitude bubble. And then back to the heart. And we'll do that a couple more times, lifting and sending it out like we're creating kind of a gratitude bubble or aura around us. And one more time. And let's bring the hands back to the heart. Okay, then put a little pressure against your palms. Feel your wrists and your forearms. Start to get a little stretch. And we'll rotate the wrists here. So palms down, backs of the hands come together, fingertips come in, and we're offering out, making an offering, what we'd like to give to the world from that place of abundance. And then what would we like to receive? What are we looking for in our lives? Bringing that back in with gratitude to our hearts. So that gesture, it's a giving and receiving gesture. The hands come down, backs of the hands together. And it's like we're offering or giving of our gifts. And then backs of the hands together come in down, around, and palms together. So hands down, around, offering our gifts, and then receiving back. Next time your hands come to your heart, pause there for a moment, breathing in that abundance, gratitude, And then releasing the hands, 
If you're on the ground, you can bring your fingertips to the floor beside you, one hand beside you. If you're on a chair, you might just brace your hand against the chair or hold onto the leg of the chair. The other arm lifts up and if you have issues with your shoulder, just keep a bend in the arm. You can even do this with the hand on the hip if that's better for your shoulder. Otherwise, arm lifts. We're gonna lift the whole torso up, breathing in and then exhale straight over to the side. Now I encourage you to bend the elbow of the hand on the ground instead of crunching your elbow up toward your ear, or sorry, shoulder up toward your ear. We'll come up and we'll do that again. So we'll go to the side and then back up to the center. We're not trying to go as far as we can as we warm up here on a holiday morning, kind of a cool day outside here in Ontario anyway. Just letting our bodies warm up slowly like the day. Okay, coming back, we'll switch sides. So bringing the other hand down, reaching up, growing tall with a breath in and you can exhale as you go to the side if you wanna coordinate your breathing and your movement, that's optional. Coming up, going to the side slowly, in the pace that feels right for you. And then we'll come back to the center, hands back onto the legs. And just where we started with the cat cow or the flexion or extension of the spine, inhaling as you lift the heart, draw the shoulders down and back, and then exhaling as you round the back, bring the chin down, let the shoulders release forward. Inhaling as you extend or arch, exhaling as you flex or round. And then let's come back to a neutral spine. We'll do a little bit of work with the neck and the shoulders, and then we'll change positions. So take a breath in and grow your spine nice and tall. As you exhale, let your chin release down toward the front of your chest. Your shoulders relax. And then slowly lift the head to center. And we'll take the head to the other side or to one side, sorry, and then sweep the chin down across the front of the chest to come up to the other side. And then sweep down and back. And go side to side a few times. If you like, you can make a full circle with your head. You're going to be cautious though, not to let your head fall back. So you're bringing it just across the top and then down and around. See if you can really tune into what you notice. There may be sounds that I hear a little creaking in my neck. There may be certain parts of that circle that feel smoother, some parts that feel crunchy. Eventually, if you're circling, you can change directions, go the other way a few times. Right, and then come back to the center. We'll lift the shoulders, roll them back and down. And you can do that a few times. Again, tune into what you notice, all the senses, the sounds, the feelings. So you can't taste or smell the movement, but really connecting with what you're able to notice. Right, and then letting the shoulders come down. Now, if you're sitting on the ground and you're cross-legged like I am, you may want to stretch your legs out and give them a little shake to wake them up. If you've been on a chair, you may not need to do that um, particular step. So we're going to change positions. Now, some of you will be comfortable on hands and knees. Your wrists and your knees will allow that. You can come over into tabletop or all fours position. So just swinging the legs around to come onto your hands and knees. If that is not a comfortable position for your knees or your wrists, my recommendation would be to come 
to your chair. And you can hold the sides of your chair a little easier on the wrists, have your knees a little bent. So your arms are still, hands underneath the shoulders, feet more or less underneath the hips. And just as we did seated, we're going to flex and round, sorry, extend and flex or arch and round the back. So inhaling if you choose to coordinate your breath as you arch the back, exhaling as you round. Now an alternate here, if you're on all fours, instead of just rounding your back, you could add child's pose. So you shift your hips back toward your heels and then come back up to all fours. And then we'll add on. So if you want a little bit extra here, as you come to all fours, and this can be done standing with the chair as well, and stretch one leg back, the opposite arm comes forward. And then you'll bring them down, round or move to child's pose, other side. So it's opposite arm and leg. If you do same arm and leg, it's a lot harder to balance. So you probably find that if you inadvertently try that variation. And then coming back to the center and try some circles. So hips going around in a circle, either staying more upright or moving your hips all the way back to your heels. Again, this is easy to do on the chair. You're just letting the hips circle around. Now for some of you, especially if your wrists are pretty strong and, and uh, healthy, you might choose to lift your hips up to come into a little gentle downward dog. Again, on the chair, you step back a little, stretch the arms out, keep the knees bent, let the head come between the arms. So either way, and I encourage you come down when you need to. If you like, you can rest in child's pose. So child's pose, the hips are back toward the heels. You can have the forearms on the ground or you could rest your head on your hands or head on the ground. If that's hard on your knees or ankles, just lift up a little more. And again, down here on the chair. So take another minute or so, play around with being on all fours, moving to child's pose if that feels really nurturing and good to you. Uh, maybe coming into downward dog if you want a little more strength, a little more um, stretch in the legs. So just take a minute to explore. And when you feel complete with that, we're going to make our way down to the ground. I'm kind of smiling and laughing right now because my cat, who you saw a moment ago, he's chasing a mouse over in the corner. So I'm hoping he doesn't bring it into the uh, class for us. <laughs> when you're ready, we're going to uh, come down onto the ground, onto your back. And you want to have your knees bent feet on the ground, your hands on your belly. If you want some support under your head, bring a pillow or a folded blanket. And with your hands on your belly, your eyes can be closed or open, whatever's comfortable for you. Tune into your breath here. Feel how the inhale fills you, the exhale releases you. You feel that with each inhalation, you're breathing in the abundance of life, all of those abundant gifts that life brings us for free. Right now, just driving around in Ontario, the colors of the trees are such a beautiful gift, a free gift from the world for us to enjoy. 
And if we look for them, the world is full of such gifts. So as you breathe in, imagine breathing in all of that goodness, all of those free gifts, no strings attached. And as you exhale, soften, create the conditions for those gifts to really enter your heart. Feel your breath. The breath itself is the gift of life. Connect with gratitude for that gift. From here, you can either keep your hands on your belly or you can move them out to the sides. We're going to work with a gentle twist again. The knees going one way. You can take your head and turn it the other way if you like. And then coming back to center and going the other direction. If you want to coordinate your breathing, inhale to the center, exhale to either side. Inhale, center, exhale to the side. And then as you come back to the center, you can pause there. We'll lift the knees towards the body and bring the hands onto the knees. Start with straight arms so the knees are as far away as they can be and take a breath in. As you exhale, slowly draw the knees towards you, squeezing the breath out. And then you'll inhale, moving the knees away. Exhale, drawing the knees in. going at your own pace. You can add any other movement here. So maybe you'd like to circle the knees together or circle the knees apart. Maybe you'd like to hold on to the legs and rock side to side. Maybe you enjoy happy baby pose where you reach the arms down between the legs and lift the feet to hold the ankles or the outer edges of the feet and gently rock side to side. Good, and then coming back to the center, letting the feet come to the ground, stretch the legs out. Stretch the arms up behind you. Reach and grow from heels to fingertips. Breathing the breath of goodness, of gratitude, right to your fingertips and toes. Feel yourself filled with the abundance of gifts of this world, freely given, no strings attached. And then eventually, slowly lower your arms. And bend the knees again. And keeping the arms on the ground, you can either have the palms down or move the arms a little away, turn the palms up, whatever feels nice and relaxed for you as we move into a pose called the bridge pose. And we'll do this dynamically, lifting and lowering again, warming up the spine a little bit more here. So start with a breath in. As you exhale, press your feet down into the mat until you feel your lower back move down, the belly moves toward the spine. And then we'll slowly lift the hips, coming up towards the ceiling. And then you'll reverse and slowly lower down. Lifting and lowering. Don't worry about how you're breathing here, just do make sure you're breathing. You can keep moving dynamically like this if you like, or at any point, if it feels good to you, you can stay in the pose. So you lift the hips and you can either leave the arms relaxed on the ground beside you, or if you like, you can bring the arms in underneath you by wiggling 
a bit side to side until the shoulder blades tuck in under you. And then some of you may find it comfortable to bring your hands together underneath you. But really only go there if that feels really good and comfortable for your shoulders, elbows, and wrists. If not, you're better off to keep the arms relaxed on the ground. If you choose to keep moving, keep moving. And if you've had enough at any point, just come on down. And then as you're ready, if you've wiggled the shoulders in, you're gonna wiggle them apart, slowly roll down. You can bring the knees back into the chest. And again, any movement here that would feel good to release the lower back a little bit. And then when you feel complete with that, I'm going to bring the feet to the floor. We'll roll over onto one side and come back upright. So I'm going to invite you to come back to your chair or your cushion or your couch or the edge of your bed or wherever you were comfortable sitting. We'll do a little bit more visualization of gratitude and we'll have the opportunity to sit for a couple of minutes quietly together, just being with the feeling of gratitude. Um, if seated isn't comfortable for you, you could do this um, last part lying down. Uh, but for, um, for the gestures, it's a little easier to do seated. So as you make your way back to your comfortable seat, just take a moment to get settled so you feel comfortable. Make whatever little adjustments to where your cushion is. And you know, this, this meditation cushion has got some kind of, um, I think it's buckwheat hulls in it, so it kind of molds to your seat and uh, you can get it just right. Do what you need to to get comfortable. And then bring your palms together at your heart. And reconnect with that feeling of abundance and gratitude. And however that manifests for you in your body, in your heart, in your mind. And then I invite you to take your hands out in front of you with the palms open, the baby finger sides of your hands touching, to making a little bowl with your hands. And just taking the time to recognize the gifts in your life. So you can imagine something in your hands, some gift that you have, some, something you appreciate. Picture it, really be with it. For me right now, I'm picturing the gorgeous colors of the trees outside. And when I've got a really clear picture, I'm going to bring that into my heart with the internal or um, the in, spoken in words, not out, out loud, although you could say it out loud, is the word thank you. And so I'll, I'll do this several times. Open my hands and imagine something in there that has been gifted to me in this life. And when I've got a really clear picture, I'm going to bring it to my heart with the words, thank you. Pause there for a moment to really feel the blessing of that gift. So we'll do this several times because we all have so many gifts. And if you're finding it hard to fill your hands with gifts today, fill it with self-love, with compassion. It's some days it's hard to focus on the goodness. So if that's the case for you today, fill yourself with self-love and compassion. So we'll spend a couple of minutes with this exercise in your own time, visualizing that gift, bringing it to your heart with the words, thank you.
maybe one more time here and you might even allow all of the gifts that are left to drop into your hands, whatever you can think of, taking a moment, visualize. And anything you may have forgotten to be grateful for, let that be in that pile in your hands and then bring it all to your heart. Pause here to really feel as much gratitude as you can <clears throat> connect with today. And again, if gratitude is challenging for you today, can you connect with some compassion or self-love? And then you can either keep the hands over the heart if that feels like a good gesture for you, or you can let the hands come to rest on your legs, either palms up or down. Again, whatever feels right for you. Any mudra, if you like to bring the thumb and finger together, you're welcome to do that. So whatever feels right for you. And as I said, we'll spend just a couple of minutes quietly together to really feel and be with that abundance and gratitude that we've invited into our practice today. So as you breathe, you're simply breathing in abundance. Exhaling, letting go of any tension. Now let's take the arms out to the sides as if we could gather all of the gifts, all of the goodness, reaching up, bringing the hands together and back to the heart. And we'll do this a few more times and let this gesture also symbolize welcoming everything, not just those gifts we think we want, but all of it. The good, the bad, the challenging, all of that can be a beautiful gift. And sometimes the things that we think we wanted, that we ask the universe for, we get and we think, oh my goodness, why did I ask for that? Bringing the hands back to the heart, pausing here to be as open as possible, accepting all of the gifts, accepting everything that comes your way recognizing the challenges as gifts as well. And then let's remember in our practice this morning, those less fortunate than us, those who are really suffering this Thanksgiving, who maybe feel that there's absolutely nothing to give thanks for, who are depressed, who are challenged in ways that are too great for them to really be present with. And we've all been there, right? So for ourselves and for everyone else who's suffering, who's 
challenge to find goodness to give thanks today. And let's send some of our benefits of the practice out to them. So reaching the arms up and then sending that gratitude out. Bringing the hands back together as if we could reach into our own hearts, lift that energy and send it out to the world. Recognizing that whatever we give away, we also give to ourselves. Sending it out. You might send it to someone in particular that you know is suffering today or just the general wish that all beings be well and happy, that all beings are free from suffering. And one more time, lifting and releasing. And then hands back together to the heart. Take a few moments to notice how you feel now after the practice. And whether you feel wonderful and great and grounded or whether you feel agitated and disturbed and upset, welcome all of that. that yoga sort of shines a light onto what we need to work on in our lives. So whatever you're ending the practice with today, be grateful for that gift. And I am so grateful for your presence here this morning and for the technology that allows us to connect this way to be together from far and wide. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste.